Alright, Woody, you ready for your new armor? Sure thing. Anything beats this one. Alright, here it is. You have got to be kidding me. What? It's just a repair of my old armor. Yeah, but you look more patriotic. I wonder about you, Tony. I really do wonder. Wonder about what? Just, just scrap the armor. Okay. What's up, YouTube? Bob Wall here with a brand new review. This time, the Iron Man 3 Assembler's Interactive Armor System Iron Patriot. And, uh, yeah, so this is the Iron Patriot. Now, I originally did not know, uh, who the Iron Patriot would be, or the story behind him until I read the bio, and I learned that it was actually Rhodey. And that's pretty cool, um, originally he was, um, it was Harry Osborn, I think? Harry, yeah, Harry Osborn was, um, no, Mr. Osborn was his, um, was the Iron Patriot in the comics. But I think they lost some copyright or something, and they had to make Rhodey. Now that's kind of interesting because he is because Rhodey does work for the military. So and in the army and in the Iron Man universe, he did steal the armor and it was modified by the military. So this is kind of interesting. I do like that. Um, this this figure actually is pre pretty nice. Um, it's nothing too spectacular, but it is still a nice figure. So I'm just gonna put him aside and uh, show you guys the packaging. Uh, patching on here is, it's standard, but it's still really nice packaging, I mean, it's like a full-fledged box. We got the name of the figure, we have picture of the figure, this is figure 3. We have the uh, figure, and we have other combinations you can make with the figure, which is pretty cool. And a bio. <clears throat> when Rhodey was given the chance to live every soldier's dream, he jumped at the chance. With his armor repainted in new colors and new patriot in his stomp, he stands tall and defends freedom as the Iron Patriot. A uh, pretty awesome bio. So, uh, yeah. And then I really like how you have, like, the Hall of Armors in the back. I mean, that just looks so cool. Now, um, the figure is just a straight-up repaint, and that is a shame, because I wish they would have just given us some new pieces. Um, here is War Machine. A uh, quick comparison, you can see that it does have more paint. I mean, the arms definitely have a lot more paint, the legs have more paint, and the chest has more paint, That so does the head. But besides that, it's just a direct repaint. So, you can see the two together, and I'll throw in Iron Man with and Iron Man real quick, so you can see the three together. Um, scaling, they do fit in scale pretty well. Now, articulation is the same as uh, War Machine had. The legs do go up a lot further than most of the figures in this line. Uh, arms rotate, and then the arms also go out. And the head's on a ball joint. I like how they fixed the ball joint on these figures, but I don't like how they got the articulation away and just kind of gave us a crappy gimmick. The gimmick is cool though, but I would prefer articulation over it. Now, in terms of accessories, he has his uh, shoulder cannon, which is pretty nice. Oh, also detailing is just the same as War Machine, so nothing too spectacular to go over. I mean, it's nothing really spectacular. But um, his uh, cannon can be clipped onto his arm and his leg for some reason. Uh, I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can. Um, I, it feels like this is, is way too short. Like, this needs to be longer so it can be up on the shoulder more. But, um, yeah. So, here we have his accessories. Now, he does come with some repaints of Iron Man's accessories with red and, um, blue. I do wish they actually, uh, gave us some silver paint because this would look a lot nicer with silver paint. So, you just unplug the arms and they do still have the peg on the side. So, we'll just plug that on. And, uh, there you go. And it, it, it looks okay. I mean, it's not too spectacular or anything. But you, you can go up and rotate and stuff. It's, it's not, like, a, a, anything amazing. I mean, these are just a reuse of parts. And then he does come with a brand new piece, which is kind of interesting. I think the guy that came up with the toy for this said that it's Iron Patriot, it's red, white, and blue, it must be Captain America, so let's give him a shield. And, um, 
Yeah, <laughs> he comes with a shield. Uh, I'll just peg it onto this arm. It can peg onto the arm, and it can also peg onto the leg, the other set of arms, and even on the back of the toy. So you do have a lot of places to put it, which is pretty nice. I do like that module placement. Now, this is kind of a weird, weird uh, little accessory, because when you push the button, which is located right here, it launches a two-missile. And the thing is that the way this is sculpted, uh, you can't actually have your figure's uh, missiles be used in this uh, weapon. Now, that's pretty normal in the toy line with this kind of gimmick, that some some things will just not fit, and, you know, I figured that this would be the one that does it. But um, it is a shame, because this is a kind of a cool missile. I do kind of like it. Now, uh, this thing is kind of like a shield, I guess. I mean, it's circular. It's pretty thick. Um... Nothing too spectacular, you could see the detailing right there. But, um, yeah, I, I, I'm I seriously thinking that someone saw this and said, Wait, it's painted red, white, and blue, it's called Iron Patriot, it's Captain America. Quick, give him a shield. I, I seriously think that's what happened. So, uh, you can, of course, equip him with all the weapons, and I gotta admit, he does look pretty cool, and I got the arms on backwards, that was my bad. And, I gotta admit, he does look cool with all of these pieces on this kind of shield blasters. It does look cool, and I do like the look of it. But, um, I don't know. It, it's just that getting a character's Iron Patriot seems a little weird, because it, it's not Rhodey. Like, I think the idea of Rhodey being, being Iron Patriot is actually pretty interesting. I gotta admit, that seems pretty awesome. But, uh, it just seems a little weird to me. And... Also, the fact that it's just a repaint. I mean, I wish we got some new parts. I mean, we could have just gotten a repaint, but we could have gotten just not this new blaster, but some new arms. That would have been pretty awesome. But, um, no, we just get a repaint, uh, we use the parts, and one brand new part, which can't even really interact that well, because the missile uses a different peg system. So, uh, yeah. Now, I am judging these figures not on quality but on their part swapping, since that's the gimmick. And this guy gets a 1, only because um, this right here is really cool, and I do like it, but the rest of the figure is just a reuse of War Machine, and if you have War Machine, you really don't need this figure. Unless you are planning to get every armor that's in the movie, then you would pick it up, or you're just a completist. Or you like the paint scheme on them. Um, either way, I really can't recommend it outside of those criteria. But... Uh, we all have different opinions, and I do want to hear your opinion. So let me know what you think of the figure. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you uh, own it? Stuff like that, the usual stuff. You can also like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Till then, adios.